Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed in Canada. This is not my usual set, but I am visiting my parents in Canada for a few weeks and recording some reactions up here. I'm so grateful that I get to do this even when I travel. So, got a bed, got movies, and I'm so excited to watch with you. Today is my Cassie's Popcorn Pick of the Month, and I feel like it's kind of random, but it's as good as it gets with Jack Nicholson. This was in a Oscar poll a while ago and it actually got like so many glowing recommendations. So it's been on my mind. <laughs> it's funny though because this whole time I was pick waiting for to pick it in the summer because I thought it was like this Nancy Myers, North Carolina-esque summer beachy movie. But I was thinking of a completely different movie called It's Complicated. So I actually have zero, zero clue what this is about. Other than apparently Jack Nicholson is not a bad guy. So I, I mean, I feel bad because I, like I can't help but see his face and just be creeped out because I've seen him in The Shining, which will haunt my nightmares forever. I've seen him as the Joker in Batman. I've seen him as the bad guy in that um, Matt Damon, uh, The Departed. Like he's just so good at being creepy with the eyebrows and the like, so I am welcome to the thought of him being just like a sweet grandpa. So we are gonna give that a try. Like I said, I know that it was, I don't know if it was nominated for an Oscar or won an Oscar, but I know it's highly praised and we shall see. Okay, remember if you want to vote on movies that I watch next in all the polls, here's my Patreon. We just have the funnest movie loving community over there. We do trivia nights and they get early access to whole length reactions, early access to the YouTube. It's a lot of fun. And then if you're new here, I would love it if you subscribe. Don't forget to like this video, blah, 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 blah. Let's go. I'm just gonna get some flowers, dear. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Come on, sweetie. Go for a little ride, then you can whiz Whoa. all over the city. Come on, sweetie. No! Freeze! Freeze! And it's it. Come on now. Come on now. No, you monkey ears! <laughs> Bet you wish you were a real oh. oh, no. This is New York. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. You ugly, smelly oh. My... Where's my good doggy? Verdell? <gasps> Wasn't his dog? Have you, have, you, uh, have you seen Verdell? What does he look like? My dog. Greg Kinnear. I got it. You were talking about your dog. I thought it was the name of that colored man that I've been seeing in the hall. Oh, boy. Frank! Oh, boy. Simon. Frank Sachs, Melvin Udall. You look good, Jr. Frank, Frank. I don't give a rat crap what or where you shove your show. Are we done being neighbors for now? Let me talk to you. No, no, no. Not worth it. Definitely not worth it for you. Is he a bad guy in this, too? Hope you find him. Love that dog. You don't love anything. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's got a little OCD, maybe. Or a lot. Hot, hot. Threw it away. He threw it away. He's doing another one. Boy, look at him. He's so dirty. Wait, where's my baby? The basement garbage bin eating diapers. How did he get down in the basement? Oh boy. I mean, even if he got in Where... the elevator. Maybe some nice neighbor shoved him down the garbage chute. This is what you live for, he said. Two heads on a pillow where all is approval and there is only the safety of being with each other. And the most shameful part of her. He's a writer. Jack is all work and no play makes a happy boy. Member? That was wrong, but member? Oh, mother frick. There's a giant moth on my curtain. Okay. I found Verdell, Mr. Udall. That's a load off. Did you, uh, do something to him? Do you like to be interrupted when you were nancing around in your little garden? No, no, I... I, I no. Well, I work all the time, so never 
never interrupt me. Not even if you hear the sound of a thud from my home and one week later, there's a smell coming from there that can only be a decaying human body. Don't come knocking. Or if it's elected. Oh, so sad. Because some fudge packer that you date has been elected the first queer president and you want someone to share the moment with. Okay. Don't okay. Knock. Not on this door. Well, ex nay on the Ikeable lay. Holy God, moly. Love was. Oh. Now I'm you don't think you can intimidate the whole world with your attitude, but you don't intimidate me. Help me! Help me! I like Simon. I like him enough to batter you unrecognizable if you verbally abuse him or so much as touch that dog again. I paid doing this! I'm an art dealer. Have a nice day. Hey, party! <laughs> oh, good for him, though. Someone did need to stand up to him. He doesn't step on cracks. No, 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 no. I got a date tonight. I'm walking out the door. He says to me, Mom, I promise not to get one of my fevers or coughs during your date. Tell me, eat everything. I just came out of here. Oh, you love me the way you love your remote. People are talking metaphors out of shampoo my crotch. <laughs> I'm starving. Go on, sit down. You know you're not allowed back here. <laughs> I've got Jews at my table. God. This once you can sit at someone else's station. <gasps> Or you can wait your turn. None of them want to serve him. <laughs> How much more you got to eat? I, what? You know what? I think they're both from house. As big as your noses, huh? Oh, he is horrible. Brian says, you ever act like this again, you're barred for life. I'm going to miss the excitement, but I'll handle it. Three eggs over easy, two sausage, six strips of bacon, short stack, coffee with cream. You're going to die soon with that diet, you know that. I will, you will, and it sure sounds like your son will. Does he have... He has a mental problem. If you ever mention my son again, you will never be able to eat here again. Do you understand? Give me some sign you understand. Do you understand me? You crazy f Oh, is his son clinically ill or something? It would be horrific if he said that and that was the case. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yes. It's just so interesting what you said at dinner. You said it like it was nothing. Is this the first date? Are we? Oh, uh, okay. Oh boy. There's too much face looking in movies. No one has ever liked that. Grandma. Why, Mama, I was hearing Mama. everything that you were doing. I put these on to give you privacy. Hey, pal. You can leave, jerk butt. Carol, I have him. I'm okay, Mom. She has me. Go. Okay. He's... He's cool that her mom and son can just hear. Okay. It's all right. You don't have to get that embarrassed. It's a little bit of throw up. A little bit of throw up. What should we do? I'll, I'll take a cab. I promised Simon I'd find him a model. Did I tell you that these are house seats? Come on, you could use a break. Okay, I just found a model. Oh, hey. hey, look, I know this guy. He even bought me dinner. You're introducing all these new characters. What? But this is for a portrait. I need a pretty face. Come here. I'll give you the address. It's for tomorrow morning. Who is it, baby? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I uh, told you today. I... I usually make such a big deal about picking models, but Carl is so thorough. This is not a nude. And yet another pose. Exactly what is your previous experience? Wait for me to say, hold that pose, then just try to comfortably hold it. What, what I do is I watch. You ever watch somebody who doesn't know that you're watching them? Somebody just waiting, and you see this flash come over them. And you know immediately that it has nothing to do with anything external. So he's not a model, he's just someone they found on the street? I mean, you, you look at someone long enough, you discover their humanity. No, no, I know exactly what you mean. Oh my God. Hold it. 
I had no clue as to what the next Clippity line was. Clop. Clippity clop ignores me. So he said to me. <laughs> I know. But guess what? Be nice to her. Can't live without me, huh? I'm finally gonna ask. All right, what's with the plastic picnic wear? Why don't you try ours? Afraid it isn't clean? Give yourself a little pep talk. What's wrong with your son? He's got to okay. fight to breathe. His asthma can just shoot off the charts. He's allergic to dust. His immune system bails on him whenever there's trouble. So an ear infection. Is this bothering you? No. What? His name? Spencer. Okay. 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 So I've hated characters before. They've had a change of heart and then you love them. Goldie Hawn, Overboard. Um, Clint Eastwood, Gran Torino. Like, it could happen. So you're practically finished, huh? Oh. Are they ripping? Are they stealing from him? What is the matter with you? Come on. You want some water? Simon, wait. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. And that painting in there. What are you doing? Losing him? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. Don't bark at me. Please tell me he's still alive. If you could just watch the dog just for the night. Oh no, no. No? No. <laughs> You're taking him. Yes. Yes, you are. You're taking him. You're leaving the books. You want to say no to me? Huh? Because I've never felt as crazy as I do right now. Thanks for looking after him. I can't take a dog. Nobody's ever been in here before. Uh, Frank? Hey, Frank. Nobody's ever been in here before. He does have a cute face. We don't have no dog food here. We don't want no dog food here. Where's the trust? I do kind of like how they're not just like giving us the whole story right away. They're just showing us bits and pieces. Seems to be a famous writer. He has like these little pieces of him. Show, not tell, you know? Always look at the bright side of your life. <laughs> no, we can't reduce the price at this stage. Where, 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 I'm in a free fall here. Yes. We can see him. I will meet you in there. I haven't looked at myself yet. I figured I could tell from your reaction. Okay, it's it's not that bad. Scars here might take a look. Oh, oh, oh. poor guy. How is Verdell? Mr. Udall, taking care of him. How, how could you do that? I own this guy. Besides, there was nobody else. Trust me, your dog is fine, Simon. He better be. It's okay. Oh my. Where'd I go? Oh. What are you doing with the dog? Suckered in, set up, pushed around. I want to sit here. I love his little face. It's so cute. Look at that smile. Brian's not here. You can bring him in. How old are you? Huh. I'm gonna guess by your eyes, I'd say you were 50. If I went by your eyes, I'd say you were kind, so. No, but I mean, what's. Uh... What's with the dark? Dawn I get Patrol. That too. So you're all set here. Can't tell if he's trying and just very bad at it or just. It's a beautiful day for our it? walk today. Very nice. Huh? Look at that. Because he stepped over the crack too. <laughs> Don't be <laughs> like me. Yes. Let's go home and do some writing. <laughs> How's Verdell doing? Uh, you know, he's a pain in the ass. And he loves him. I was sort of hoping you can keep the dog until he's had a chance to think. It's been weeks and weeks. A few more won't matter. He definitely wants him back right away. He'll be by tomorrow. He's attached. It's been weeks and weeks. He loves him. Some face they left hanging on you. Look like you. Could you take it? A little easy, Mr. Udall. Verdell? Come here, boy. Let's go home and get well. 
Uh, you can't blame him for being weird. But look at yourself in the mirror. Oh, boy. Come on, where's my boy? Over a dog. Over an ugly dog. It's not ugly. Help! You want to see me, you will not do this. You will make an appointment. You know how hard it was for me to come here. I changed just one pattern, as you always said I should. No. Nope. Oh, I read that. Thank you very much. What if this is as good as it gets? What the heck are those for? Get Carol. We don't know if she's coming back. Why plastic? What are you trying to do to me? What the heck do you mean? Luckily, he has a spare. Just have her do my one meal here. I, you know, I'll pay whatever you want. I'll wait. Do it! I do have a little compassion for him. Just shut up and get out. Do it! Go get Carol. Get her here. Get out. Oh get out immediately or there's going to be trouble. <laughs> Feel sad for him. Oh, poor Carol. I'm hungry. If you were a waiter, I'd be. Are you totally gone? This is my private home. I have very strong feelings on the subject. What subject? Do you have any control over how creepy you allow yourself to get? Why aren't you at work? You don't look sick. Just tired and bitter. This is too far. How you doing? You should answer someone when they speak to you. I'm sorry, Melvin, that's it. I cannot handle you teaching my son manners. Ow. 104.9. Gonna treat ourselves to a cab ride? Anyway. We're okay. 104.9. Wait! Shut up, kids! <laughs> Brooklyn Presbyterian Hospital, please, and quickly, please. Okay. Any chance you'll be back at work today? No! Any chance you'll be back at work today, he said. Oh my gosh, why, why, why? What are those cards? Oh, Frank's idea. He thought I should have notes, so I did this right. Simon, you're broke. The medical bills are 61,000 now, and the show didn't go well. I've spoken to your parents. They didn't hang up or anything, but they said they would feel strange about calling you. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh no. You miss the tough guy? Well, here I am, sweetheart. Happy to see me, a little piss ant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be able to keep my apartment in the studio, won't I? He's such a nice guy, and his paintings were really good. He, he thinks everyone has humanity. Huh. And here, Mrs. Connolly. I'm Martin. What? Please, just tell me. I'm Martin Betts, Dr. Betts. Well, what are you doing here? He's good. I'm an expert on doctors. Someone explain it to him. My Her. wife is Melvin Udall's publisher. She said I was to take excellent care of this little guy because you are urgently needed back at work. Could you get this to the lab? And I want it back today. Did you say you're going to get the results back today? Uh, what's the now? How long has he had the problem? Six months old. So um, once the tests come back, is there someone in your office? We should... My home number's on the card. That's his home number. <laughs> <laughs> this is so horribly sad and nice at the same time. The littlest things. At the very least, from now on, your son is gonna feel a great deal better, okay? Can you imagine what those words mean to her after her life? Well, the costs are gonna be considerable, I'm afraid. But don't worry, Mr. Udall wants to be billed. Why? Is he dead yet? <laughs> No. Would there be any way that you would be willing to walk his dog for him? Absolutely. You're a wonderful man. <laughs> Two o'clock would be a good time, and here is the key in case he is asleep. Things like this happen for the best. What do they teach you to talk like this in some Panama City sailor want a hump hump bar? Sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. You know, one step forward, seven steps back. That we man. really want to go back to emergency with those runt doctors. You know how this will turn out. This is not like stockings. It's not like a string of pearls. You don't send this one back. Oh, she is kind of right. I get her worry, though, but... Thank you for walking him. 
this, uh, this cleaning lady doesn't, uh... Please just leave! What happened to your queer party friends? Get out of here! Nothing worse than having to feel this way in front of you. You were disgraced to depression. Okay, okay. Okay. Rot in hell, Melvin. No need to stop being a lady. You'll be back on your knees in no time. You lucky devil. It just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? I'm losing my apartment, Melvin. The life that I had is gone. It's high times for you, isn't it, Melvin? Gay neighbors terrified. Terrified! You're here for rock bottom, you absolute horror of a human being. Oh, this is comforting, isn't it? You wanna know why the dog prefers me? It's not affection. I keep bacon in my pocket. Oh my gosh. Huh? Come here, Fidel. Come here. Yo, yo. <laughs> Come here. Come here, baby. Stupid dog. <laughs> can I just say, it's halfway through the movie, I can see on the bottom of the screen, and it always makes me sad because I want to keep watching these people, which is weird, because it's just like normal people. Well, you know what I mean by normal, but like, it's just like, I want, I want to see them. I want to see it. Mr. Udall? Second look at shows that are always worth a second look. Harold the waitress? The doctors gave me your billing address. I'm sorry about the hour. Oh, he's letting her in. If you're uh, worried about, thank you. That's not why I'm here. Though you have no idea what it's like to have a real conversation about Spencer. I have, I have a hair dryer. Uh, why did you do this for me? Because he wants his breakfast. So you'd come back to work and wait on me. Do you have some idea how strange that sounds? I'm worried you did this be- Are you waiting for me to say something? Look, uh, I'll be at the restaurant tomorrow. I don't think this can wait until tomorrow. I need to clear this up now. I'm not going to sleep with you. I will never sleep with you. Never, ever. I'm sorry, but, um, we don't open for the no sex olds until 9 a.m. I'm not kidding. Anything else? Uh, just... Thank you. So you'll be at work tomorrow? Yes. Never, she said. Never, she said. He didn't want that, did he? Took a, ch took a chance you were up. I brought you some Chinese soup. Like it's four in the morning? This is big for him. I haven't been sleeping. I haven't been clearing my head. I felt like myself. It's not just the tiredness. It's sick. Her everything looks distorted and everything inside just kind of aches and you can barely find the will to complain. I'm glad we did this. <laughs> Spencer's okay. You better start finding something else to do with your free time. Carol and I are going out. We are going out. They're going out? I know what's really going on here. It's very weird feeling that stupid panic thing inside me all the time. Without that, I just start thinking about myself and what good does that ever get anybody? Today on the bus, there was this adorable couple and I felt myself giving them a dirty look. <laughs> I just had no idea everything was moving in the wrong direction, away from a time when I remembered what it was like to have a man to anything. I felt almost Really bad that Dr. Betts is married. <laughs> Which is probably why I make poor Spencer hug me more than he wants to. <laughs> what are you saying? Drew? Leave me be! Right. Why are you doing this? Wait, what? Really, Mom, what is it you want? I want us to go out. The dog did Ugh. throw up twice last night. I mean, Spark is off. Take him to the vet. They say his stomach's out of whack, mm -hmm. and they need him for a couple of days. Well, do it! What if... Excuse me. This is for, for later. What's this? Um, it's a thank you note. No, no, no thank you note. No, no, no. She's nice. Shouldn't that be a good thing, telling somebody no thanks required? Sure looks like it went over, too. <laughs> I mean, look at 
<laughs> oh, they're friends. He's making friends. He's got to get to Baltimore to ask his parents for money tomorrow. His parents are alive. I mean, they have to help. Only, uh, I got a high-maintenance selling painter coming through, so I'm out. Can you drive him? Think white and get serious. Oh, my gosh. Do you drive? Like the wind. But I'm not doing it. Getting loud. I want your life for one minute where my big problem is somebody offers me a free convertible so I can get out of this city. She should take him. I'll take him. I'll take him. Yeah, get him ready. Pack tomorrow morning. I'll take him. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, let's not drag this out. We don't enjoy one another that much. <laughs> I'm gonna give my queer neighbor a lift to Baltimore. Okay. Hey, what I did for you, it's uh, working out. What you did changed my life. No, uh, no, no thank you note. Is it somehow you have done more for my mother, my son, and me than anybody else? I'm just gonna read you this part of it. And that makes you the most important, surprising, generous person I ever met in my life. And you're going to be in our prayers. Lovely. Sorry for busting in on you that night when I said I was never... I'll just, you know what, I'm just going to start from the beginning. I have not been able to express my gratefulness to you, even as I look at the word grateful now. It's... Oh! Thank you. Now, I want you to do something for me. Uh-oh. I thought I said what? Oh, I'm so scared. Do I you... want you to go on this trip. I can't do this without you. I need you to chaperone. Melvin, I'd rather not. Right, and no, ain't she sweet. I need a hand, and where'd she go? Are you saying accepting your help obligates me? Is there any other way to see it? Oh. There's no way to pack for this trip. <laughs> He's got a clipboard. Melvin, I would like to know exactly where we are going. Just south of Baltimore, Maryland. There's no need for me to bring anything dressy. I mean, I didn't know if we were going to be eating in any restaurants that have dress codes. I mean, maybe. Uh, I mean, yes. Let's. Okay, gotcha. I love you. I'll miss you. Hey! Oh, she did this. I can't get the shiny out of my head. Don't do this. That's going to be good for him, though. It's going to be good for her, and it's going to be good for him. Everything's going to be okay. Soak it up. It's your last oh chance for a hug for a few days. <laughs> he is so terrible. Thank you for being on time. Look at him smile. I, oh, wow. Oh, uh, Carol the waitress, Simon the... <laughs> what a bizarre threesome right now. Look how excited he is. We got good stuff here. For use to pep things up. Wait. He's secretly tender. Comes to your parents. Maybe this thing happened to you just to give you a chance to do that. You want to know what happened with my parents? Yes. Me too. She was sort of fabulous about it, actually. You know, I was too young to think that there was anything wrong with it. So she used to pose nude for me. Mm. Assume that my father knew about it. This when stuff it is pointless. Hey, go ahead, really. Read my it. father didn't come out of his room for 11 years. He used to hit me on the hands if I made a mistake playing the piano. <gasps> I remember I was defending my mother. I said, she's not naked. It's art. <laughs> and he started hitting me, beat me unconscious. The morning that I left for college, he walked into my room and he held out his hand and it was filled with money. And he said, I don't want you to ever come back. And I just grabbed him and I hugged him and he turned and walked out. Oh my gosh. We all have these terrible stories to get over and you- It's not true. Some of us have great stories, pretty stories. No one in this car, but a lot of people. What makes it so hard is not that you had it bad, but that you're that pissed that so many others had it good. No, I don't think so. Not it at all, really. Not it at all, huh? Let's uh, go to the hotel, and tomorrow you'll see if you can get another big wad of sweaty money out of his hand. Can I ask you a personal question? Ever get an erection over a woman? <laughs> Wouldn't your life be easier if you weren't? You consider your life easy? All right. I give you that. <laughs> nice oh packing. My gosh. Nice packing. <laughs> Mom, I ran over a guy and scored a goal. You did? Th that's great. Mom, uh, we're playing again. 
Gotta go. No, no, no. Wait, wait, just tell me. She's such a good mom. My son was outside playing soccer. Take me out dancing. I, I, I can't. I'm exhausted. Oh, come on. Are you sad or something? No, 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 I'm nervous. It'd be very rough, Carol, if you weren't along. I'm happy. And you're my date. <laughs> How, how is this going to end? All set? Yeah. Oh, they require a tie-in jacket, but we have some available. Oh, no. You probably have these dry cleaned all the time, don't you? Actually, I don't think so. Does he have to wear a tie-in jacket? I need a coat and tie. Come on in. No. <gasps> uh, that one. Okay. Guys, he's trying so hard. I'm gonna fall in love? Is this the first time I don't want that to happen, maybe? She looks so sad. You look, uh, great. Sharp. You wanna dance? Well, I've been thinking about that since you brought it up before. And? No. <laughs> they make me buy a new outfit. They let you in in a house dress. I don't get it. Pay me a compliment, Melvin. I need one. You have no idea how much what you just said hurt my feelings. Now or never. Okay. That was really rude. Can we order first? Two hard shell crab dinners, <laughs> pitcher ice cold beer. <laughs> Fries. One baked, one fried. <laughs> now, I got a real great compliment for you. I'm filming my grandma, <laughs> too. I've got this, what, ailment. My doctor says that in 50 or 60% of the cases, pill really helps. I hate pills. I'm using the word hate here. My compliment is, at night when you came over and told me that you would never, uh, you were there. The next morning, I started taking the pills. You make me want to be a better man. That's maybe the best compliment of my life. Well, maybe I overshot a little because I was aiming at just enough to keep you from walking out. Two steps forward. Come on. Stay forward. It's, 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 it's exhausting talking like this. Did you ever let a romantic moment make you do something you know is stupid? Never. Here's the trouble with never. Oh! I really... Actually, did not see that coming. You don't owe me that. That wasn't payment. When you first came into breakfast, when I first saw you, I thought you were handsome. And of course, you spoke. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, why did you bring me here? Oh, come on, Melvin. Say something good. If you ask me, I'll say yes. I thought one thought maybe if you had sex with Simon. That's why you brought me? I, I don't know why I brought you. It was just one thought. No, wait, wait, that's to, I didn't mean. It was a mistake. Two steps forward, three steps back. I don't want to see him and he's not going to come knocking on your door. He wants to paint again. I have to draw you. Huh? Absolutely not. I'm a lot more shy than people think. I give off the wrong impression. I have to. Stop staring. Do a vase. But you're beautiful, Carol. Your skin, your long neck, the back, the line of you. You're why cavemen chiseled on walls. Oh! She's got two really good compliments tonight. up I said the wrong thing or if I hadn't I could be in bed right now with a woman who if you make her laugh you got a life I, I swear to god my hand won't even keep up hold it hold it oh careful ah! 
coming in. Did you have sex with her? Okay, so you sure you don't want your shampoos or anything? I didn't know she was still here. Did you have sex with her? <laughs> it was better than sex. We held each other. What I need, he gave me. Great. <laughs> Just love her. How you doing? <gasps> Hello, Simon. D do you have to whisper? I can barely hear you. I'm not a screamer. Look, the reason... No, 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 no. Hold, it, hold for what? what? What do you gotta do? Where are you going? The important thing is that your son is happy. Yes, I'm, I'm working again. What? I... About money? No, I don't need anything. Relax. So? Be together alone. I'm coming take with you. It. Well, what about your parents? No, 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 no. I'll take care of myself. Carol, a load has been lifted. I got a gift for you. Nothing like no choice to make you feel at home. They sublet your place. You're homeless. Frank's got to line another place you can use for now. Another place where? Does it matter? No. It doesn't. You look so good in a hat. Like the hat? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. For emergency use only. I don't want to hear that music right now. That didn't go well. I'll take a bus. No, no, I'll take you. I'm scared. Can you, uh, can you come here? Look, I don't care what you did for me. I, I don't think I want to know you anymore. All you do is make me feel bad about myself. Let him take you home. Don't want to. I think you're gonna have to camp it here. What are you talking about? Oh, there's mommy and daddy, you're home. <laughs> they were gonna set you up in here. It's a, an extra room. I never use it. Thank you, Melvin. You overwhelm me. Me too. I love you. I tell you, buddy, I'd be the luckiest guy alive if that did it for me. <laughs> He took me in. Yes. It's Carol for you. Yes. Well, Jackie Pete, then. Take the dog. Okay, I gotta go. Just take the dog. Come on, move fast. Yeah. Don't let him move fast. Come on. Oh, he really likes her. Oh, he makes us hair. It's okay. Hello? Yeah. How you doing? Not so hot. I don't know whether I'm being sensible or hard on you. Maybe both. See, right there, I don't know whether you're being cute or crazy now. Cute. I can't handle this! Or them! I'd be lying if I didn't say I enjoy your company. But the truth is, you do bother me enormously. I think that it's better for me to not have contact with you because you're not ready! But there were extraordinary kindnesses that did take place. Are you waiting for me to say something? Good night. Good night. Okay, Wait. if I say something now? Go ahead. I should have danced with you. Good night. Good night. Are you gonna talk to me or not? I'm coming. <laughs> I'm dying here. Because you love her. And you people are supposed to be sensitive and sharp? Let me sleep on it. Oh, come on. I can't get back to my own life. She's evicted me from my life. Melvin, do you know where you're lucky? You know who you want. I would take your seat any day. So, so do something about it. Go over there. You can do this, Melvin. Do this. You can do this. I'm charged. Stephen. Yes, you are. I mean, the best thing you have going for you is your willingness to humiliate yourself. <laughs> there you go. What's wrong? I forgot to lock the door. He did it one, two, three, four, five. That's gotta be a step. Look how cute he looks in his card again. <laughs> what do you want, Melvin? I'm sorry I woke you. I, I, I wasn't time. asleep. What a break. Is it a secret what you're doing here? I had to see you. Because? It relaxes me. I'd feel better sitting outside your apartment. That's, that's overstating. I'd rather be sitting inside on the steps because I don't want to get my feet in the gutter. Why can't I just have a normal boyfriend? It doesn't exist. Boyfriend. <laughs> Come on in and try not to ruin everything by being you. You know what I kind of want really bad? It feels a little confined in here. Let's take a walk. 
I still want you to hear part of that car song. You, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. And darling, I'm never lonely whenever you're inside. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whatever this is, is not gonna work. Wait, what? You don't know me all that well. I'm not the answer for you. You got a great compliment for it. You know what? I, I can just, be just, 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 just. I might be the only person on the face of the earth that knows you're the greatest woman on earth. And how you are with Spencer. Spence. And then every single thought that you have and how you say what you mean. I think most people miss that about you. And I watch them wondering how they can watch you bring their food and never get that they just met the greatest woman. And the fact that I get it makes me feel good about me. Oh, gosh. No. I know I can do better than that. Oh, well, I'm... Stepping on the cracks? Kinda? Oh. Baby steps. Oh. Little by little. Wow. <sighs> on one hand, like, I felt like binging these characters, like I said in the reaction. Like I wanted to see more of them and I wanted to see their arc and see them progress and see them come together. On the other hand, like, <laughs> I'm like, can he change enough? And I get that like, he does have these really tender moments and he's armoring himself with hating everybody and the meanest insults <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> but he, okay, so Jack Nicholson, he's very good, isn't he? And he also like, that's, so much of that has got to be just like him, but maybe he's just so good that I think that. Everyone was like just so expressive and I loved Greg Kinnear. It was slow, but like I said, I couldn't look away. It was like romantic, but very real in a sense and not like that that's a plausible situation. I don't know, but just like everything wasn't perfect and tied with a bow and like they were awkward and they fought and he said the wrong thing and I don't know, there was just like a lot of like really special things and it was charming in a way and some really great lines. I don't know, it was just like, I'm just soaking that all in. It was so not what I expected. His character, Melvin, yes, he has a lot to work on, but I would watch him work on it and I believe in him and he did turn around for me. He was helping out his neighbor. He fell in love with a dog and he stepped on a crack for her. Little by little, I believe. Okay, thank you so much for watching along with me. Cassie's popcorn pick of the month, what should be next? Okay, good night.